this, but I wanted to go over a couple things today, and today is going to be really exciting. We have really fun things to go over. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Your makeup is terrible. Your makeup is terrible. Alright guys, hi. So, um, I know that it looks weird to have headphones on. Um, so here's the thing. So the Democratic, um, debates are tonight. I don't need this. But the Democratic debates are tonight. I'm really excited about it. I don't know what you guys, um, your thoughts are on it. And I think that it's going to be incredibly crazy. I think that it's going to be incredibly entertaining. And I really hope that all of you guys are watching. If you're a person who says, <clears throat> I don't want to watch the Democratic debates. I understand what you're saying, but I don't get what you're saying because the reason why I voted for a Republican is because I listened to Hillary speak. And so um, I think that it's important to know all sides of the story. I think it's important to watch both sides. So I do encourage all of you guys to watch the Democratic debates. It starts tonight at 9 o'clock Eastern, and um, it's going to be a fucking shit show. Who is going to make themselves look the dumbest? Now, um, I'm not too into the whole Democratic lifestyle, so I didn't go into the actual schedule to find out who's speaking when. I think they're all idiots. I think they're all going to be putting their foot in their mouth. But I think that um, I'm going to be watching and I'm going to be recording it because what I want to do is I'm going to record each time one of them use a minority group as a ploy. So this is my um, whole like my whole like thing. So um, oh Janet, uh, Janet, I just saw your comment. Janet said whatever happened to the DNA thing, girl. That's like three videos ago. So um, I don't want to go into it too deep, but um, go look at three videos ago. But girl, I'm black <laughs> for real. But go into um two video, two or three videos ago. I think it was like two videos ago. But um, anyway, so that's not why I'm here today. But anyways, I wanted to kind of go into it. And um, there definitely could be... I saw another comment saying Trump drinking game. I have to see all these comments. Normally, I don't read the comments. But um, Trump drinking game would be really awesome. Every time they said something bad about Trump, take a drink. I think we'd all be wasted by like the first candidate. But um, I think it's really interesting to find out what they're going to say. But I, my point is, I think that they're really going to go towards victimhood. And I think they're going to be pulling minority groups out of their ass. Like we knew, um, you know, Bugetti, Bugetti, whatever his name is. Bugetto. He's going to be pulling the gay thing out of his ass. We already know Kamala Harris is pulling the black side out of her ass, and so is Cory Booker. So I wonder who's going to be the blackest out of both of them. And then we know that um, we have, um, we know Indian girl, you know, Pocahontas. She's going to be pulling that out of her fucking ass. So I'm really excited to find out which, uh, like, minority groups the rest of them are going to pull. As we all know, Joe Biden wants to pull the whole um, every little girl's hair and shoulder. But um, <laughs> for his minority group, he wants to pull Americans that are poor. And as we um, see him talking about health care and putting down um, people, like Trump it's really crazy to me because he was the vice president for the past eight years so I have this question to him if he believes in a universal health care why didn't he believe in universal health care when he was the vice president of the United States of America Biden Obama health care didn't work so why would we trust you again you know what I mean so anyways that's my whole thing with that and um, so anyways I just want to talk based on democratic um, debates it's gonna be tonight make sure you guys tune in I will also be live and I will be showing them and we will be laughing our way to 2020 as Trump wins again. The um, reason I came into this video today was because I really wanted to talk about something that was affecting me because I seen it trending on the internet and I hate that it's trending, but um, when I first saw this, I saw it posted by a leftist publication and I went on there and I said something about it and I was like, um, you're wrong because somebody posted this picture of this man and his daughter that were found dead and um, the Rio Grande, it read like this. It was automatically putting down on Trump and putting down Trump's administration, saying that it's their fault that this happened, that we, um, it's because of our laws and because of us not letting people seek asylum, because I guess the guy was trying to seek asylum. So he couldn't seek asylum, so he put his kid in danger. Oh, and every Trumpster is gonna say, well, should have came here legally. Because mm. Trumpsters are hu inhumane. So I responded to her and I said, no, Trumpsters are not inhumane. This is what we would say. I said we would say this is incredibly sad, it's horrific, and I feel really bad that um, this parent thinks that they would put their child through this. I think that's a fucking horrible parent. I have a big heart for that child, and I think that if we had a wall at the other side of that um, Rio Grande, I don't think they would have swam across. <clears throat> Just saying. But my real um, whole point of this situation with this dad and this daughter is I'm seeing now both sides as of this morning post about it. Now, I saw today um, a right publication post about it, and they said, well, they shouldn't have came over here. Like, blah, blah. And that's exactly what the left wants us to say, but I'm not trying to just not say what they... I'm not trying to just avoid words because I know that's what they want me to say. I'm going to say reality to you guys right now. So this is the situation at hand. Whether you're on the left or the right, let's talk about this. This is a horrific sight. It's a father laying dead with his child. 
do I see? I don't see victims. I see a victim, but not victims. I see a horrible parent who's willing to go to great lengths to break the law, putting a child's life at risk, risking death even. And I don't think it's as desperate as the Democrats are making it seem. Oh, in fact, I know it's not as desperate as the Democrats are making it seem. So the Democrats are saying things like, Well, they just desperately want to be that bad. They're willing to put their kid's life at risk. So that shows you, blah, 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 blah. No. We're letting people kidnap children and come over here and seek asylum. If you're not accepted for asylum, there's a reason. If you're not accepted for citizenship or a work visa, there's a reason. So 360 ports of entry, folks. And if you still got to come here illegally, that's called breaking the law. That's called breaking the law. Breaking the law. Does that law mean that you deserve to die? No. But I will not let people put what this horrible person, horrible parent did to this beautiful child onto the shoulders of Republicans. I will not let this horrible parent make all of us look either like we care too much or don't care enough. I will tell you the problem, and it's not ours. The problem here is that we had somebody trying to come here legally with a child to make some more money and go home. It was purely economic. I just hope and pray that that child that's dead with him is actually his. So I think build the wall faster. Democrats, this is not a victim. Had it been a Republican with their child, what would the Democrats say about that? They would say that that parent was a murderer. They would say that that parent, where's their God now? <laughs> I bet you they would say something like that along those lines. They would say they deserved it. They would say, well, they shouldn't have been Republican. But all of a sudden, because they're illegal and we comment on it, we're inhumane. I don't think they deserve death. I think he deserved handcuffs and I think that child deserved a better father. Unfortunately, it didn't happen that way, but it was out of every American's control. House Democrats just rejected a motion to hire additional judges to help process the backlog of 900K immigration and asylum cases. Republicans want to provide resources to address the humanitarian crisis and the immigration backlog is fueling. Why won't Democrats join us? Why? Why won't the Democrats join us? The Democrats are saying there's too many people at these um, facilities, correct? Well, if that's the case, then why not let us hire more judges to help process the backlog of 900K people? I'll tell you why. Because the Democrat caucus, just like when they didn't stand for prison reform, even though it was letting out a lot of African Americans predominantly, the only people that sat as a real stood and clapped, even Democrats stood up and clapped, but the black Democrat caucus was the only people sitting down. Now, I think it's crazy to me that people speak out so much like Ilhan Omar, talking to you, and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. You guys speak out about the in, in, inhumane um, humanitarian conditions that are happening at these facilities. Yet, you reject a motion to hire more judges to help this process along. Why is it only Republicans who want to not only address the border crisis with a wall, but also, we also want to provide resources to address this situation. Why are the Democrats not helping us? Rejecting this, um, rejecting this motion is the same thing to me as um, saying that it's insane for people to show ID to vote. I don't care how that's insane. And don't use a leftist ploy when they say, oh, because black people can't go get IDs. Don't act like people are stupid, because they're not. But when the Democrats sit here and reject things like this, it makes every tweet, every post, every video that they've done saying how horrible it is at the border, it makes it look fucking obsolete. So now, when you guys watch the Democratic debate tonight, I know they're going to bring up the border situation, and I know they're going to bring up the um, facilities. I want you guys all to keep in mind and remember: no matter what Democrat stands, no matter what Democrat stands up there tonight and feeds you bullshit about how Trump's a horrible person and how these facilities are fucked up, I want you guys all to remember that they rejected a motion to hire additional judges. So I don't fucking care what they have to say. 
When they bring up the word border, I'm going to know that they're lying. Period. They're going to try to play on Americans' emotions. That's what they're going to do with this debate tonight. Don't put it past them to also join forces. As you guys know, they just want Trump out. They will do whatever it takes to make sure that their regime takes back over. Meaning, I think that during this debate, it'll be different than other debates. I don't think it's going to be as entertaining when it comes to the heat. I think they're going to be joining forces a lot to go against Trump. So don't let them turn America blue. And don't let them convince you that they are telling the truth. Because we all know, damn sure, they are lying. First of all, when they use pictures like this, let me bring it up for you. When they use pictures like this for political gain, I have a problem. They claim to care about human life, yet they use a picture of a dead dad and a dad and a dead daughter just to throw stones at Republicans. Now I get it. There's two sides to every story, there's two sides to the country. And I get it. There's a divide. But I don't get how you're a person who claims to be about loving people and about being humanitarian, yet you don't honor this father and daughter the way they should be honored if you care about humans. Instead, you use it to your political advantage to throw stones at us. But let me remind you again, had there been a wall on the other side of that river, they wouldn't have swam it to begin with. That's your fault, not ours. But don't worry, there'll be a wall soon. Those um, are the situations. So everything kind of ties together today. I know that it seems like a bunch of different subjects, but it's totally not. But I do want to say some good news here in California, which is rare, bitch. There's never good news in California, as you know. But um, today, today, ice is hitting California hard, bitch. Can we get some extra ice up in this motherfucker? Every time you guys go to a restaurant today to celebrate, I want you guys to order extra ice in your drinks because, bitch, Ice is coming through California. They're sweeping through LA like... And I think actually they're not even in LA yet. I think they're in Sacramento or something. They might be in LA already. But Ice is sweeping through California. Hi, y'all going home. And I ain't mad at you. I don't hate you, bitch. But um, breaking the law is breaking the law. And I think you should definitely um, suffer consequences like any other criminal. Like, what the fuck? Like, and the best or the worst thing that can happen with all this situation is what? Like, what? We don't have to pay some taxes for some other people? What? We actually know who's here? Weird. Or What? What? We actually um, ha all get the same kind of health care as opposed to um, us and our tax dollars paying for their free health care. Bitch. <laughs> Nothing in this world is free. When a Democrat looks at you and says, free, know that somebody else will have to work hard for that. And somebody else will have to pay for that. We live in a country that gives us all the opportunity, equal opportunity, not equal outcome, but equal opportunity to get off your ass and work hard for what you want, including your health care. So work hard for it. Get it. This country, you could do that. You can't do that in any other country. As much as you could do it here. So nothing in this world is free. I don't give a fuck what it is. Even freedom comes with reasons and rules. And consequences. So hey, Ice, how you doing? How you doing, Ice? Today, Ice is busy, bitch. If you know somebody in your family who works for Ice, bitch, you won't be talking to them for a couple of days, bitch. They're on the road. They are working it out. They are working, motherfuckers. <sighs> Gavin Newsom is shitting himself somewhere, and we know that, um, well, we know Kamala Harris and, um, and Nancy Pelosi are shitting in the streets, apparently. San Francisco, you know, I don't know about all that, but you know Gavin Newsom is somewhere shitting himself as well, and, um, Maxine Waters is somewhere not caring like she always does. She never gives a fuck. Speaking of which, we need to vote for Omar, Omar Navarro if you live anywhere near LA, OC, or that area, the 45th District, whatever. You guys need to make sure you guys are voting for, or the, I think it's the 48th. You guys need to make sure you guys are voting for Omar Navarro because Omar Navarro is going to be taking over Maxine Waters' place. He's somebody who actually lives in the district and somebody who actually cares about the people there, including Skid Row, and cares and points out the fact that it has grown times three. Bye. <laughs> Anyways, so I will be speaking in Texas. Um, uh, for Texans against political Islam and I cannot wait but 
Make sure you guys support me by going to patreon.com slash the adorable deplorable. And if you guys want to buy any Trump 2020 gear, we do have a Trump rally this 4th of July here in Huntington Beach, which we have the biggest um, the biggest parade what this side of the Mississippi, west of the Mississippi. It's what they say because it's true. Um, the biggest 4th of July celebration. We shut down all of downtown Huntington Beach. It's, it gets really crazy down there. Thousands of people come down. They shut down all of PCH. It gets insane. The fireworks are on the beach. It's all free. You guys should come. Bring your families. But if you guys would like to join us between 10 a.m. and noon, um, Valerie the um, Valerie is throwing. If you guys don't know who Valerie is, she is the um, the MAGA. What is her name? It's so long. MAGA um, Rally Girl, and she is hosting an event at um, PCH and on the corner of Main and PCH between 10 a.m. and noon on the Jack side right during the parade and it's gonna be all Trump supporters so wear your Trump gear and bring your Trump stuff out so if you were interested in buying some Trump gear because maybe you don't have a lot I have so much Trump gear oh my god bitch I like live and swim in Trump gear like I'm like like I can swim in this shit like so if you only knew how much Trump stuff I have <sighs> like <laughs> I got too much okay if you guys want to know about pricing or if you guys want to see any of that go to the shop section of this page um, I can also mail you stuff if you're not from here if you're not going to the rally it's okay you don't have to go to the rally to buy things from me but um, I am selling a lot of Trump 2020 gear so if you guys would like any make sure you guys go to shop section of this page and um, it will be updated I know the shop section has not been updated in a minute so we'll be updated in the next couple of days because I did get a lot of new items I have new bracelets I have new masks I have new um, a lot of things I have fun things not just t-shirts or not just hats I have hats too but I have the fun things for Trump so check it out and also I have a lot of the um um, no more bullshit flags and stuff. So make sure you guys check it out. And if you guys want to buy any Trump 2020 gear, you guys can do so at this, do so at the tops of this page in the shop section. So um, like I say in every video, I'll see you in the next one. I hope you guys learned something from this today. Democrats are idiots. But let's all get ready for the debates. Watch the debates. And if you are a person who says you're not going to watch the debates, don't be a fake ass fucking Republican. Watch the debates. Know why you're a Republican. Remind yourself why you're a Republican. In fact, this debate might actually get us pumped up and more willing to make sure Trump wins, which we're already going to do. But, um, bitch, the harder we go, the better. So, why not? Thanks, guys. Bye.